Hi, I'm John Bybee from Southeastern Community College. I teach ceramics and I'm going to talk to you about the transformation of clay from a wet state to a bone dry state to a bis fire. Uh, and then we take that bis fire and we place a glaze onto it and once we have the glaze onto it then we place it into the kiln and we wind up with a piece of pottery. I'm first going to wedge it. The wedging is going to help spiral the clay platelets at the same time that I'm pushing out the air pockets. And then I'm going to start to throw it into thin layers. Now these three thin layers will allow the clay A to mix. It's going to help make the clay a lot more consistent in terms of uh, its moisture content. And then what I'll do is I'll wedge the clay down and then cut it in half in order to see if we have air pockets. So if we cut this open, we can see that there are no air pockets in here and it's ready to go. So now we're over at the pottery wheel. First we're gonna put our splash guards on. And you wanna make sure you get it firmly pushed to the base. It's underneath, and pop down on it, it's ready to go. And then we're gonna take our clay. So what I do, the way I start, is I make sure the ball's nice and small, and I throw it down in the center. And we're gonna use our water to draw a circle. And then that will allow us to move the clay until it's nice and centered on the wheel head. And we're going to push to that one o'clock position. Can you see the arrow that I've made here? Before we get started with that, let's talk about how we set up our body mechanics. We want our knees locked in and our elbows locked down and our hand resting on the clay. And we're going to try to center it up. So this is the first step. And when we cone this clay up, and cone it back down will help take some of those air pockets out, like what you just heard pop out of there. We're going to center the clay. We're going to start to throw the piece. So I'm going to take my right thumb and go over my left thumb. I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to take my two fingers on my left hand place them on the inside. You can throw with your fingers or with your knuckle. And when I say throw, I'm actually talking about lifting. This is lifting with your fingers. I also like to come in and manipulate my cups. I like drinking coffee, so I like them to have a little bit of shape to them. Now it's just going to be a matter of adding a, a handle to that piece. Okay, so after we finish trimming the pot, we're going to let it dry, then we're going to cut it off of the mat, flip it upside down, put it back onto the pottery wheel, and trim the base. Now that it's nice and dry, then we're going to attach the handle. You see we're pulling the handle here, and we're attaching it by scoring and slipping it. glaze this piece of pottery and we're going to pour to the inside first with the red iron and then I'm going to slowly pour it out covering the rim as I go all the way down and then all the way back up and we're going to do this tw maybe twice 